Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be taking a look at this sort of pre-made tool bag. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring that notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Okay, so we got this really cool tool bag. And if, as you can see here, the company is BOXO uh, USA, and the website is BOXOUSA.com. I will have a link to them in the description box of this video if you want to go to their website and check out any of their products. This particular product is one of their pre sort of configured tool kits, and it is a King of Hammers off road off-road tool bag that's what it's called on their website so if you know anything about off-roading king of hammers is just google king of just google or go to youtube and type in king of hammers if you're into off-road stuff you already know what it is if you don't just go watch some videos of it it's really really neat it's sort of overland ish you know crawling crazy desert running you know whatever it's 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 crazy off-road stuff so this inspiration for this pre-assembled kit is you know kind of for that type of stuff don't really know what makes it that kind of stuff other than hey this is sold as a king of hammers tool bag so this is what i'm going to be taking a look at this particular bag was purchased by my brother because some you know he owns several several jeeps uh so he bought this and showed it to me and i was like hey let me do a video on that because this thing looks really neat well when i started looking at the website this kit is $595 yeah so keep that in mind when we're going through everything the price now tools are expensive and I'm gonna give you my take on my experience with a lot of different tools as we go through this this is an 80 piece metric tool set has this really big bag and of course are tools so it's heavy so this bag has to be you know pretty pretty stout one thing about it, it has molly all over it, you can see. And this is a Velcro patch, so you, you, know, you can take this off if, if you want. It's big, you know, but the molly runs vertically, right? Not horizontally. So, kind of wish that was different, just for me. Because all my molly bags, they would go on sideways, you know. But, okay. All right, we've got a really cool carry handle, and of course, because this bag does, it is full of tools, the stitching, the stitching seems really robust. The material feels really good, feels really thick, has a, a center here for both of the handle loops, and it does have their, their logo on it. And I do like the fact that since this is a tool bag, you see how compressed it is because of these. You have two of these cinching clasps on here, just help you pull the bag, keep it together, and the cool thing about this bag, being only this wide, right, like there's my hand, is this will very easily, very easily, go behind the back seat of my truck. My truck's a mega cab, so it's, it's, it's a crew cab, right, it has four doors, but I have about this much space, a lot, like two, two and a half feet behind the back seat. Now that's not normal because most crew cabs are a lot shorter than that, but this will fit behind the seat of, of most of your standard crew cab trucks. Very nice because you can buy something like this, put it behind the back of your truck, and, and there you go. You're, you're good to go, You know, as you're going to see when we get into this, which is what we're going to do right now. So, yeah. Like I said, I do like a lot of these, these things like like these cinching straps that they have on here because it just it really gave some some thought into the use that this 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 kit is going to be put under and also the fact that like this is how you buy it from boxo i don't know how the company wants you to pronounce that i don't know boxo but there is room to add stuff now i know what you're going to be saying $595, man, it better come with everything. Well, the problem with that is that it's not. 
it's not going to because everybody has their own preferences for their tool loadout what they think they need what they want to have you know whatever fact is there's room to supplement that's the key okay so where should we start okay we have a tool roll okay and it's velcroed so it comes out okay this is the tool roll which what we'll do we'll set this to the side and this thing's heavy because it's got all, all pretty much all your wrenches and everything in it okay so with that out the bag clamshells open you have two big strips of velcro in the middle and we got some some loose thread okay so two big strips of velcro everything has velcro on it which is nice because it, it keeps your organization somewhat in check this is one of the little bags has velcro and it you it you kind of can see through it kind of sort of not really but this bag does have room for other things so we'll take this bag first okay so this is our going to be our tire puncture repair kit you got a tire puncture you got a reamer you got the little the little thing that you know you put the you put the little piece that that plugs the hole up and you pull it through and it's got the glue the rubber solution and then it's got a what is this this is just a box cutter yeah right yeah yeah okay so this is they also got a box cutter in here so always handy so already you got you got a you know you got a way to repair a flat tire which hopefully you know you have some way of airing that tire up because otherwise you know it's not really going to do you a whole lot of good okay so what we'll do we'll put this back pull this one off and this one here this one here is very very light so this one definitely can be supplemented because there's really not a whole lot in it matter of fact there's this is the only thing in it is some what disposable gloves three pairs of nitrile gloves and they are branded from the company uh box boox i don't know boxo there you go and see that's kind of like a rhino looking with the tools you know they integrate all these they, they hodgepodge all these tools together they kind of make it look like an animal's face you know you got the wrench you got the hammer like a pry bar or something so yeah anyway okay so we got some we got some work gloves so we're not going to be getting getting our hands all all dirty and like i said these you're not going to be able to, to pack them a whole lot more but you will be able to put more stuff in these two pouches here Okay, then on this side, we got these two these two bags. Okay, we got these two bags. Our big roll, tool roll goes here, and then we have another bag that's this, this, the same size as this one on this side. All right, so this bag, we have some tools, obviously. Okay, so we got a just adjustable adjustable wrench. And like I said, all these tools are going to be branded by this company. So yeah, they feel good. Got some scissors or some shears that do look like they have like a, like a wire cutter kind of hole there. Not hole, but you know, a place where you could run, put wire in it and cut it. But I'm pretty sure one of these bags has like electrical stuff in it, I would assume. All right, then we have a regular pair of, of cutters, like wire cutters, or, you know, cord cutters. Then we got a pair of pliers that have cutters on them as well. Just a little pair of, like, needle nose pliers. All right, then we got another adjustable wrench. And again, these are tools, you know, that come from this company. Even these. Like, I've yet to see anything that's not branded. All right. We got another small pair of blunt pliers that also have cutters on them. Yeah, and I will say this: the tools, the the handles, they feel really good. You know, they they feel really good, and 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 they 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 feel sturdy. So yeah, you know, it doesn't feel like uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to start being mean, you know, and say, 
something like you know a company that kind of sells cheaper stuff <coughs> harbor freight but the, the the tools feel good okay all right let's get into this other bag all right we got some hammers all right so we got a very basic wood handles genuine hickory we got a standard like ball that's a standard ball peen hammer okay all right which will come in handy oh they give you a deadhead hammer what is this 20 ounce yep so we got a 20 ounce deadhead hammer there you go got some some textured some texturing on for a grip very nice very nice and then let's see we got we got an adjustable prying tool, which this is something that really comes in handy, believe it or not. So let's see, how, how does this thing adjust? Okay, you can take it out to get more leverage. Very nice. And you should be able to unlock this. Yep, there you go. So you can orient it really however you need it, if you need it straight, if you do need some, some angle to it, you know, you can, you can get whatever leverage you need. This thing will provide it. So yeah. There you go. Very nice. And again, too, you know, it's got their logo on it. Only thing I, I only thing I will say that I'm not too crazy about is on your pry your pry bar side, it's it's flat. I would like there to be some texturing on that, just to, to give you a little bit of grip. You know, if if you really need to pry up on something or whatever, it's just my own opinion. Okay, so I'm hope I'm not gonna be a liar because I've yet to see any any electrical stuff. Maybe it's in this bag. Yes, here we go. Oh, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of stuff in this one, so you got definitely a lot of room to supplement in this particular bag. All right, and they give you very basic, very basic. We just have a a, a little probe, a little electrical probe, plug to ground. You can start touching stuff, see what's got power, it lights up. So, very, very basic. Got some electrical tape. And even the electrical tape is, is branded by this company. Okay, now we got some of these, these kind of generic multi-wire strippers. Again, they're branded by this company. And then we got a, a smaller pair, a, a little smaller pair of cutters. Just a just a little 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 small pair, and they're branded again. But you know this compartment here doesn't have a lot of stuff. That's it. So you could definitely you could definitely squeeze squeeze more items in there if you felt so inclined. Okay, that's everything in the clamshell compartment. So I think the best way to proceed is I'm just going to close this up, and and no. That's the only opening on this thing. So there's no pockets or anything on the outside of it. You know, if you want more storage on the outside, they give you the Molly so you can attach something sideways to it. So yeah. Okay, so that's all that's in that. And boy, this thing I did a good job of messing it all up. Okay, this is the tool bag. And the tool bag is the same kind of deal. It has these things to kind of keep it cinched together, which is, you know, something I really like. I really do like that for just the organization and the tidiness of keeping everything together. And let's see. And what I will do, I will cut in or try to cut in some overhead shots of all this stuff. Okay, so just to give a quick rundown of what we got, what, what we're working with here. Okay, starting from this end. Are you ready? I'm going to do a flyover. Right. We got 21 millimeter box in wrench, closed in wrench. 19, 18, 17, 16, we have hose clamp driver, 3 8 ratchet, a 
punch, a hex key set, a slotted screwdriver, three eighths extension, half inch extension, a breaker bar. We got an adjustable wrench. We got some Phillips screwdrivers, some uh, Torx uh, key set. We got a tire gauge, half inch drive, a tire valve core tool, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, or uh, 12, 10, and eight millimeter wrench. Then in the little compartment on the end, the little zippered compartment here, we have our sockets. And these are the sockets. We got some half inch drive, some bigger stuff. Let's see, what is this? This is a 21. Then we got a 17, a 19. And then we got our bar that has all of our, all of our ratchets on it. And one of them came off. See if we can, can we get this back on? Can we get this back on? I'll have to mess with it. Yeah, I need I need something to pry that out to get that back on. That's okay. All right, and we got just a standard set of of sockets that are branded by the company. Again, everything is branded. Everything has their logo on it. Don't have a problem with it, but I will say this about the tools in themselves because you know i haven't used these tools so don't 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 you know don't kill me in the comment section you know if you have any experience with this stuff please definitely hit the comment section and sound off and let me know about it because i am very curious because they on their website they say that these tools they are what did it say mechanic approved or something like that they use some kind of verbiage like that which I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to kind of go with that. But the biggest gripe I have, like I've never, I, I've never really broken a whole lot of tools. And as far as re regular wrenches are concerned, I tend to do just fine with, you know, craftsmen or, or, you know, whatever. The bane of my existence when it comes to tools is ratchets. And... I'm going to judge a tool set on their ratchets. That's just how I am. Because I have really bad luck with ratchets. And, you know, I know it's very hard to judge a ratchet just by turning it in your hand. But, but the, the tolerances in this ratchet are very tight. It feels really good. This might be, this feels like it'd be a really good ratchet. Feels like it'd be a good ratchet. And for those of you guys that, you know, hey, if you use tools, you know what I'm talking about. Generally, if there's a lot of slop right here, then you know that ratchet, you know, you know it's got a, a definite shorter lifespan than one where the tolerances are much tighter and much cleaner. So, yeah. So, I live and die by my ratchets. So, yeah. And... You know, yeah, they give you everything that you need. You know, really, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some more specialized, you know, tools, more very specific tools that you would probably want to add to this. And the good part is they, they more than oblige you in that request by giving you ample room. You can definitely supplement this thing quite a bit because that bag has a lot of extra room in it. So, yeah, you can go crazy and all that. So, yeah. If you have any experience with this company, B-O-X-O, -O, USA, let me know in the comment section because I'd really like to hear it. I'm really sure my brother would like to hear it because this is going to go in one of his Jeeps. So if he ever breaks down, this, these are tools he's going to be going to. So yeah, hit that comment section let me know. If you made it this far, hey, I greatly appreciate it. I will say this, I, you know, I pulled all the tools out and looked at them. And, you know, the, of course, the wrenches, they're, they're wrenches, you know. I mean, there's nothing special about them. They're just wrenches. Hopefully, they're made out of good material. But check out, I like this adjustable wrench. It just looks cool, you know, having the little skeletonized bits here. You know, it just, to me, this wrench looks cool. And, you know, it is, has their logo on it. So, yeah. But definitely, like I said, if you have experience with this tool set, let me know. I'd like to know if this is junk. Hopefully, five hundred ninety-five dollars. It's 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 not junk. Hopefully, it, this this these are some really good tools. But you guys have seen everything that's in this set.
for $595. So just tell me, let's just say the quality is good. Okay, let's just, quality is good. Do you think this is a good kit for $595? Would you be happy? This is 80 piece. You've got 61 tools in the roll. That's counting the sockets. And then you got 19 tools in the bag. That's what we're working with. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this particular, you know, tool bag, the company. If you have any experience with them, let me know. And yeah, if you made this far, thank you. Greatly appreciate you. See you in the comment section down below. Hope you have a great day, night, whatever. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.